Shark versus dolphin. Orca versus giant squid. Boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. The threats to our ocean seem overwhelming. But by working together now, we can ensure that future generations always have a place to dump their old tires. that the magic of the camera allows us to witness this savage orgy of feet with such Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam.
an insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. Really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything.
The peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Locals seldom miss an opportunity to indulge in mindless gratuitous slaughter. Tender life ender, Bobby Bojang. such as these often leave people unsettled and anxious. Only time will tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hotspot. The battle is over, but the war goes on. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. 
I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can bend and tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. You used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody was gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got itself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. with albinism have shorter lifespans due to their inability to camouflage themselves from predators.
the shark returns once again to her safe haven. Cajuns that fish and trap here don't use depth finders or GPSs. They know this bayou by heart. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bull. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment.
traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks.
This instantized protein makes a great between meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass.
someone should have taken a gun safety class. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Nowhere is the irreversible degradation of the natural environment more on display than Dead Horse Lake. Here. Ah! 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 
another reckless campaign of extermination. us a whole new appreciation for what's really going on beneath the water. The Savage Shrimp. Predator displays little caution as the situation further escalates. Never mind. 
rampaging shark never fails to attract interest. Clovis responds with swift retributive action.
Things are getting heated in this war of attrition between man Hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's.
shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators.
It may look to eat someone who's taken a lot of painkillers. by a hungry shark can add zest to any ocean out. retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens.
hot shot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. Gotten all about its rogue shark for now. Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals.
Hunters are on the water, bringing their explosives and poor impulse control with them. should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds. Shark Hunt draws to a close. Blooded rover moves confidently through her liquid element.
puts a kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. Hunting bull sharks was made illegal in 1997. Many shark hunters get around the rule by not caring. Golden Shores import this mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. last night's hangover so they can take to the water. Shark, get your ass out of here. 
Mexican traders come every year to batten Tordu. Because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 round of golf? This is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. A successful shark hunt is traditionally celebrated with off-brand cinnamon whiskey and large quantities of pseudo effects. Make should be called a woodle. Delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything.
Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shunt. Many a child has run away to the sea with a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living.
of society have retaliated with deterrent action. But mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance.
A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. 